Okay, we're back with the next installment. Now just to recap, we solved the green side first, we got the cross first, then we got the correct pieces to correspond to the sides, then we got the corners correct, and we didn't use any formulas, we just did it by seeing what needed to be done. We turn it upside down, and now we'll start using the formula. And we'll be using the very first formula. Now remember I said put your thumb on the face so that no matter what you turn you know what the, the face is. Well it's not that uh, it's not that important right now, but what we do want to do is get these pieces correct. And the way to do that, we know that the blue, this is the blue side. So we know this has got blue in it. It's not going to go down here because blue has got to stay up there. We know that this blue piece wouldn't go down here. It's got to stay up there. So what you do is find a piece that doesn't have blue in it. And here's two of them, a red and a white, and a yellow and a red. So rotate this until you've got red and red. And you can see that this piece is a red and a yellow. And it needs to go right here because this is red and this is yellow. So this red-yellow needs to go right here. And the formula we're going to use is this UR, UI, RI, UI, FI, UF. Okay? So it's upper clockwise. But remember, we're going to take this piece to go right here. So it's upper clockwise, right clockwise, upper inverse, right inverse, upper inverse, front inverse or counterclockwise, upper clockwise, and then front clockwise. And what that did was it took the piece that was sitting right here and put it right there. And just so you'll know, the piece that was here, when you make this move, the piece that was here always winds up on the back right here. Okay, so we need to find another piece, either here, this one, or this one, or this one, that is, doesn't have any blue in it. So this one we can't move yet. This one we can't move because it's got blue. Here's a good candidate. Uh, yellow and white. And we want that yellow and white one to go right here. So we do the same formula again. Now before we do this, let me just say, if it happened to be that this piece needed to go right here, it's the same formula as for here to here, except you just reverse everything. To go from here to here, it's U clockwise, R clockwise, U inverse, right inverse, so on and so forth. But if you wanted to put this piece over here, you would just do U inverse, left inverse. Now remember, Left inverse is this way, counterclockwise. Right inverse is counterclockwise. So right inverse is this way. Left inverse is that way. So the formula is, we'll go ahead and put this one from here to here. And I'll explain what I just said again in a second. Upper clockwise, right clockwise, upper inverse, 
right inverse, upper inverse, front inverse, upper clockwise, front clockwise. And that piece that was here, that was here, is now here. And the one that was here is back there. Okay, so if you wanted this piece to go over here instead of there, if that's where it needed to go, the formula, it was U R U I R I U I F I U F. You would just make it to go to the left, it would be U I R I U R U F U I F I. Okay, so we've got a piece that's not right here, and we're looking for a piece, either this one, this one, this one, or this one that doesn't have any blue in it, and there's one right there, so where does it need to go? This piece needs to go right there. Because it's red, and there's your red, white. So we need to move, rotate this one down to here. So again, it's U R U I R I U I F I U F. And now we've solved the bottom two thirds. Now for the rest of the solving, everything that needs to be fixed is contained within this upper level right here. There are no pieces down here that's going to wind up, I mean permanently wind up here. Everything we need to do is contained right here in this level. But in making the moves, there will be some times when we have to you know, put stuff down, but we'll always go back. Now, what you want to do is solve the blue cross. And we're lucky in that we've got a solid blue across the top. What you're looking for is a solid blue across the top with a blue right there. And even if we turn it around, we've got a solid blue with a blue right there. So either way would work. Now sometimes you won't have a solid blue like this. But what you will have is a blue a blue and a blue. So blue on two sides. And if you if you have if you don't have this but you do have a blue one and a blue one. Well, here's an example. Nope, I don't have an example. I'm sorry. In this situation, if you did have a blue right here, this would be your front. And you would do this Second formula, F R U R U F. You do it the same way as you're going to do this right now, but because we've got the blue across the top and the blue there, this is considered the front. And you could do that, and this is now considered the front because we're only dealing with the top part. So the formula is F R. Oops, that's not an R, that's a U. F, we did it, let's back up. We want to solve the blue cross on the top. So we've got a blue across the front and a blue one right there. That's good. The other option would be a blue a blue and a blue. You always have one or the other. So the formula is F R U R reverse U reverse F reverse or inverse. So F R U right inverse 
upper inverse, front inverse. Now we've got the blue cross. And you always check and make sure you haven't messed anything up on the bottom. And we look good. <laughs>